Hi, my name is Nomi Lamb, and I am accepting Krista Smith's uh, White Privilege Media Challenge to support the Black Girl Dangerous Editor and Training Program. As you may have noticed, the media is dominated by white voices, and it's essential that media organizations like Black Girl Dangerous exist, and that we support and nurture the talents of young people of color, particularly queers and trans people of color, as up-and-coming cultural workers and media makers. Um, so most people doing this challenge are dousing themselves in a bucket of white media. And instead of doing that part right now, I just want to share an experience that I had last night because I had the opportunity to go to the Black Media Appreciation Night in support of my friend Leroy Moore, who received an award for his work around disability and racial justice. And I got to learn about this legacy of Black media in the Bay Area, including the Bayview newspaper and KPU, going back to the Black Panthers, and Emery Douglas, who received a Lifetime Achievement Award, um, and the central role of Marcus Books in the advocacy and organizing of Kevin Weston, who recently passed, and his support of other journalists, including youth and including Tandi Sizwe Chimarenga, I hope I'm saying her name right, who wrote No Doubt, The Murder of Oscar Grant. Um, so much information, and I felt so grateful to have access to them and to their voices, and it makes me even more passionate about the voices of people of color in the media. Um, we need to continue this legacy and make more room for the voices of women, queers, and trans people of color. So as a white person, I'm reaching out to other white people and saying, um, I challenge you, Max Airborne, Vicki Conrad, and Courtney Trouble, to take the White Privilege Media Challenge and to give what you can to the Black Girl Dangerous Editor and Training Program, to spread the word about it, and um, maybe to make a silly video like this one. Thank you.